Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. We are here with our Teletubbies toys and we're going to learn colors today. The Teletubbies are quite colorful. We have Tinky Winky, who is purple. And Dipsy is green. Lala is yellow. And Poe is red. Tinky Winky finds a picture of a yummy popsicle. What color is the popsicle, Tiny fans? Mm, it's my favorite flavor. Orange. The popsicle is the color orange. And we spell it like the fruit. O R A N G E. Dipsy finds a picture of sunglasses. They are in the shape of hearts. Dipsy knows it's important to wear sunglasses outside to protect our eyes from UV rays. And a hat helps too. What color? Are the sunglasses. They are the color pink. And this is how you spell pink. P I N K. Now this is a lighter pink than the sunglasses. This pink is the same color as Peppa Pig. It is also the same color as Kitty's nose. Speaking of Kitty, I wonder where she is. She's not in her bed. And she's not on her scratching posts. She's not in Puppy's bed. And look, Puppy hasn't had his Christmas present yet. Sometimes Kitty likes to stay warm under the covers of the bed. It's quite lumpy, so she could be under these covers. <gasps> Hi Kitty, there she is. She was hiding under the covers. And there's her little pink nose. Kitty, why don't you come and see the Teletubbies toys and learn about colors with us? She loves to lay on the carpet. What do you smell, Kitty? Now, speaking of cats, Lala finds a picture of a cat. What color is this cat? It's all black. And this is how we spell it. B L A C K. Kitty has some black on her tail and some on her head. The rest of Kitty is white and brown. Lots of things are the color brown. B-R-O-W-N. I'm wearing a brown bracelet. And one of my favorite things is brown. Do you know what it is, Tiny Vance? It's chocolate, and Poe has found a golden wrapped chocolate egg. This chocolate egg has peanut butter in the middle. I love peanut butter and chocolate together. Make sure that you share with all of the Teletubbies, Poe. And if you want to see more videos on our pets, go to My Little Dog Joey and subscribe to support us, Tiny Fans. Thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. 
please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. It's lunchtime for the Teletubbies toys. And we have our very special Teletubbies themed lunch kit today. Let's get a closer look. There's a picture of Tinky Winky in the top left corner. And then we have Lala. Dipsy's in the top right hand corner. And Poe. I wonder what's inside the lunch kit, tiny fans. Let's unzip and have a look. Hmm. Do you know what it is? It's a tubby toaster. And of course, we need some tubby toast. Ooh. Are we ready to get toasting, tiny fans? Each piece of tubby toast is in the shape of a circle. That's right. And there's a smiley face on it. We push it down and push the button. And we wait. And when it's ready, it pops out of the toaster and the lights blink. Here's a piece of tubby toast for Lala. Let's put our second piece in. Oh, that one was ready right away. That's for Dipsy. And here's our third piece. And here's a piece for you, Tinky Winky. <gasps> Wait a minute. We don't have a fourth piece of tubby toast for Poe. Tinky Winky, share tubby toast with Poe. <gasps> oh, thank you, Tinky Winky. Isn't that nice? Tinky Winky is sharing his tubby toast with Poe. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. There is so much snow on the ground that our Teletubbies and Nunu toy can only travel by sleigh. They have Kristoff's sleigh from Frozen. A sleigh usually is on two skis and it's usually pulled by a horse or, from Frozen, a reindeer. But I'm just pushing the sleigh with my hand. This is what the tracks look like. Ooh, I feel like doing a winter craft activity. I'm going to fill the lid of this tin with water. Place it outside and I'm going to put all natural decorations in it. I'll start with these beautiful beans that I picked from my garden last summer. Count with me, tiny fans. We're at two and three, four, five, six, seven, oops, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15. I also have some dried lavender and dried rose petals from the garden. Let's sprinkle some into the water. Now all we need is some string. Both ends of the string are placed in the water and I form a loop. Have you guessed what I'm making yet? I'm going to make an ice ornament that I can hang on a tree outside. This will freeze overnight if I leave it outside. Okay, we're all set. The next morning, it's frozen solid. 
Oh, but one of the pieces of the string was knocked out by Puppy. Oh, well, I can make it work. Let's take it out of the lid. Wow, it's beautiful. It looks like a glass ornament. I tied the string in a loop. Now let's go hang it on a tree. And now we have a pretty ice ornament hanging on our tree outside. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today we are here with our Teletubbies toys. And do you know what's behind the Teletubbies? It's a droid, also known as a robot. This robot was built by Tiny Treasures and they named it Baby Eleven. We went to a droid building shop. Oh, this robot's saying hello. Hi there. There are robots of every shape, color, and size in the shop. The kids each receive a basket with instructions on how to build their robot. Tiny Treasures Mini is building an R2-D2 type robot. And Tiny Treasures is building the BB-8 type robot that you saw in the beginning of the video with the round body. The conveyor belt has many different parts for the robots. The wheels, legs, head, body, and motor. The conveyor belt goes by with many of these parts in different colors. There's the legs for Tiny Treasures Mini. And Tiny Treasures finds a body. Maybe not the right color. They want one with more white in it. Ah, there's one. We need to grab it before it goes by. And Tiny Treasures Mini is still looking for a body for their robot. We're looking for a white one. Do you spot a white robot body? There it is! Now that the kids have grabbed all of their parts off of the conveyor belt, we go to a different station. The Robot Building Station, where they have helpers and tools. Let's go! take everything out of our basket. Let's put on the legs first. We put on the middle wheel, then the head. And the last thing is the accessories. When the robot is all done, we place it in the activation box. When the red button starts flashing, we can push it and our robot will start to talk and move, just like that one. And our little robot is alive. Each robot comes with a remote control. Let's turn it on. The round robot needs to be turned on from the inside as well. There's a big black motor.
<gasps> Oops! Sorry, Lala and Poe. I knocked you over. It looks like I need a little more practice operating this robot. The kids had a lot of fun building their robots. And they even talked to each other. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. It's cold and snowy out today and the Teletubbies want to warm up by going for yummy s'mores. But we need one more Teletubby. Who's missing? It's Dipsy. Oh, Dipsy was playing in the deep snow. Oh, you're going to be so cold, Dipsy. Are you ready to go for chocolate s'mores? Dipsy hops in the passenger seat. Dinky Winky is the driver today. And Poe and Lala sit in the back together. Everyone buckles in. And it's icy on the roads. So the Teletubbies have good winter tires on their car. That's important for winter time driving. Let's start the music and go. Look at our fire to roast our marshmallows. It's blue and it's in a little black cauldron. We get four s'mores and four sticks. One for each of the kids. One for me, and one more for the kids to share. Roasting a marshmallow perfectly is very tricky. You need to hold it just above the flame to make it a nice brown color. Oopsies! This marshmallow got a little bit burnt. It's time to put it on the chocolate. The warm marshmallow will melt the chocolate onto the graham cracker. Push your marshmallow with the top graham cracker and slide your stick out. And the s'more is ready to be eaten. Now Tiny Treasures is roasting their marshmallow and soon it will be my turn. Mmm, what a tasty treat on a cold winter day. I grab my stick and poke the sharp part into the center of the marshmallow. The kids are enjoying their sticky s'mores. I'm going to be very careful not to burn mine. The burnt part of the marshmallow is very unhealthy for your body. Just a nice light brown color is perfect. After I'm done roasting my marshmallow, the flame starts to get smaller and smaller and we watch it until it almost disappears. And thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye.